What is going on? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. Today we got the LSU football preview, 15-0. Last year, Joe Burrow, Magic, reigning national champions, coming to you right here. So, first of all, it all starts with the wide receiver position. That is the strongest position on the LSU football team. Jamar Chase, Terrence Marshall. Marshall, a highly touted kid out of LSU, was very productive last year. 600 yards receiving, 13 touchdowns. Also, Jamar Chase, monster season, 1,780 yards and, what was it, 20 touchdowns for Jamar Chase. Just a dynamic duo at receiver. Do lose Justin Jefferson, but should be very strong at the wide receiver position for brand-new quarterback and um, fourth-year junior Miles Brennan to throw the ball to. Running back has several guys that have uh, have some experience. Chris Curry played a little bit last year. He really popped in the Oklahoma game. Really impressed me with some of his speed. He looks like a pretty bit built, strong, powerful kid. They also return um, John Emery, who's a very highly touted recruit out of high school, number 13 overall prospect, number two running back recruit in the country, John Emery Jr., the, co- the coaches, Joe Brady, obviously exits and heads to the Carolina Panthers, will join former head coach Matt Rule. But they do bring in Bo Pelini, a former defensive coordinator there, also the longtime Nebraska head coach, had a solid solid coaching co- career with the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Steve Exinger remains on staff as the LSU offensive coordinator. Exinger, I think, is a very smart guy. Him and Joe Brady really clicked a lot together. I think keeping him on the staff is key because I think Ed Orgeron is not very much an offensive minded guy. He just kind of gets everything to click together and so Exinger remaining on the staff is key for the offense. An offense that's going to have a lot of very high expectations heading into the 2020 season. But I think they should be okay. Um, Miles Brennan a lot of pressure but um, he doesn't need to be Joe Burrow. He just needs to be good, very elite. Just don't you know, don't turn the ball over. You have weapons. You got a good defense that'll complement you. You know, just do enough. Um, what else? So on the defensive side of the ball, Tyler Shelvin is one of their key guys. Um, he was a key piece last year to their national title run. Very strong, big physical defensive lineman, kind of like the mold of LSU football for the last 10 years. They like the big, physical, strong defensive tackles. Not necessarily super fast. Um, with some exceptions, Sam Montgomery, I guess, Marquevis Bingo, Arden Key, they have had some of those guys, but well, the guys in the interior, they like to be like the big physical guys in the interior. Also, Glenn Logan will likely be a key piece to the defense. Had a big 2018 season, but battled through some injuries last year, and his production dipped a little bit. But he's a guy to uh, definitely watch out for heading into 2020. Jacoby Stevens was one of their better players on defense, returns at the strong safety position. Stevens, nine tackles for loss, five sacks, and three interceptions. Also, Derek Stingley, one of my favorite players in the country, played outstanding man-to-man coverage, ton of pass breakups, six interceptions as a true freshman, one of the highest recruited players to come into LSU football last year, returns at the cornerback spot. So that one side of field should be shut down by Derek Stingley on defense for LSU. So a lot of bright spots for LSU. I I hope that the offense stays what it was. It was so fun to watch last year. You know, it's one of those things where you really don't want them to go back to the way it was under like the last miles era. That offense was just boring and it was stagnant. They relied on their stingy defense to really keep them in games. You really hope that the offense can just stay strong, you know, stay even if it's even if the offense is decent like top three to five in the conference I think they'll still have a chance to be very successful in the conference a west division that um still pretty tough I mean it's going to be them and Alabama I think for the west the game is at LSU this year in Death Valley but so LSU still a team loaded with NFL talent I've talked about it um with other people LSU is a very NFL loaded team every year I mean I think well I mean that's kind of obvious but I think especially this year so Alabama game at LSU I think that's a very telling game for how LSU what kind of team they are I mean it's kind of like middle to late like middle towards the end of the regular season so that'll be a telling game I think LSU will have one or two losses but still a very competitive ball club still a ton of NFL talent obviously with a very legitimate title contender Um, in the conference and nationally with their talent um, and a solid coaching staff. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in to Big Time Football Talk. Make sure you comment below. Tell me who your favorite LSU player is returning next year and why. And uh, tell me what your thoughts on uh, Bo Pelini coming back to college football and what do you think this means for the LSU Tigers. Thanks for tuning in to Big Time Football Talk. Until next clip, peace.